Drug workers, they've been declared on local, regional, and national levels. We must wage what I have called total war against public enemy number one in the United States, the problem of dangerous drugs. Since 1971, $2.5 trillion have been spent on the war on drugs. When we say no to drugs, it'll be clear that we mean absolutely none. Some think there won't be room for them in jail. We'll make room. But today, illegal narcotics are purer, cheaper, and more available than ever before. I think we totally misunderstand cocaine. If you can't control drug use in a maximum security prison, how could you control drugs in a free society? It's a business worth $320 billion worldwide. Whole nations have been brought to their knees by the war. In Mexico alone, 47,000 drug-related murders in the last six years. These problems are far more important than some futile goal of creating a drug-free society. Most politicians, they're afraid of being accused of being soft on drugs. But now, the ones who have had the guts to change their minds are ready to tell the truth. If all you do is try to find a police or military solution to the problem, a lot of people die and it doesn't solve the problem. You cannot make a war against drugs without making a war against people. It's time to break the taboo. Stop your war on drugs. It hasn't worked.